we have a broken throttle here on this little John Deere 216. We can move the throttle up and down. But nothing happens at the other end. So we're going to take this throttle apart and see what the issue is. To get to the throttle, uh, what, what we need to do here is to remove these four bolts. One, two, and two on the bottom. Pull this guard off so we can get a better look at it. Now we have the, the guard off. It gives us a good look at this throttle cable, which is right there. When I pull the lever up and down, it doesn't move. So we'll take that cable off and see what we can do about that. We've got to release this screw here, take it out so we can release the cable and hook it from the throttle assembly. Now we're ready to take off the, the handle assembly on the throttle, the compression fit. So I'm going to use a hammer and vice grips and get this point through. Next, we need to move the, remove the battery so we can get to the throttle assembly. I was able to get to one nut there, but there's two nuts holding it on, and then the one below is pretty, pretty hard to get to. So I'm going to remove this battery. Now the battery's out. I was able to get one nut off. There's another one behind there that has to be removed. And then the whole assembly can uh, come out. Okay, now we have the assembly out. I see there's a broken spot right here. And the problem is, is the cable uh, pinched on the wire. As it moves back and forth, the cable and the wire both move. So I don't get any movement at, uh, where I need it to throttle the motor. I'm going to see if I can fix this. If not, I'll buy a new one. Now my goal is to remove part of the cable cover and uh, see if that doesn't free it up. Okay, we're getting this uh, spread apart so we can loosen the cable up where it's cramped. And then when I get done with this, I'm going to cut it off with a Dremel tool. Okay, there's uh, the connection I made. I cut out the uh, parts that was pinching the cable. Now it's freed up and it goes uh, back and forth. The wire goes back and forth. So now it's just a matter of putting some good lube on there and Put it back on the tractor. After I uh, installed my cable, it kept separating. So uh, I had to make a splint. So I took this little 3 16 uh, U-bolt and a, and a sheet rock screw, cut the head and tail off and made a splint. And uh, then I uh, Tried it and it worked great. Okay, uh, here we go. There's my splice. And it worked perfectly. Uh, I need to get a new cable, but the nearest John Deere guy is about 50 miles away. And uh, I don't have time right now. This will probably last for a long time. It's amazing how well it works. Uh, 
as you can see, we're in working order again.